the touchstone or the root cause is what we're often trying to look for in EMDR, we can't always necessarily find it because that may be a prefrontal cortex linear member we can get to. We are able to differentiate through tenderness on the ear which part of the body or mind needs assistance. And the parts that don't need assistance will not be tender and will not need treatment. And this is invaluable as a therapist. You can access parts of the body that are normally not accessible, like a hypothalamus, pain memory, or an emotion it can all be accessed through the ear. A large amount of information in a very small amount of time, and it cuts out an enormous amount of us guessing. For target identification uh, in the assessment process, we look at the ear uh, to get insights into what might be going on for the person from a, a psychological point of view. And then I use those insights to guide the EMDR sessions. In auricular medicine, we know that the ear is a reflection of the brain that is current and dynamic. It is showing us what is really going on with our patients. But most definitely, that happens quite frequently. So when we're doing the target identification assessment in the early stages, I will say, well, I'm noticing this is going on uh, in your ear. And then that, that's enough for someone to say, yeah, well, this is, happens in my life. And okay, well, yeah, I experience this confusion all the time. For example, if I'm touching the laterality point and I'm always mixing up left and right. And I had this accident that resulted in that happening. And this is really active. These qualities of how it feels when you probe a point are very important to pay attention to because they will give you a sense of the priority in treatment. A point that is, feels a little bit more superficial, maybe a little sharp, it's an active point, definitely. But if there's a point that feels very deep and feels very emotional, brings up emotion, even just when you touch it, that's a sign that that may be a priority, especially in a psychology practice. As a therapist, we often try to find resources. What I like about the auricular tool is how collaborative it is with client and therapist. Here's another tool that's evoking emotional response and you're just able to be there with the client. It works by um assessing the person's ear for active points. So in the, the first session, I will scan the ear even before I've started to do the, the prep work for an EMDR session. This is gonna give me the, the information I need to go in and do a better assessment. Yeah.